why didn't we feel safe enough to talk? We should have talked. We didn't. None of us did. A former student coming forward tonight revealing even more shocking allegations against a former Dublin teacher who's now facing child pornography charges. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Colleen Marshall. And I'm Mike Jackson. Right now, Gregory Lee is still being held without bail on federal charges. The longtime social studies teacher was arrested last week for resigning, after resigning, rather, from the district weeks earlier. NBC4's Jason Aubrey was at tonight's school board meeting where the community got to voice their frustrations for the very first time since that former educator was arrested. Jason? Colleen, Molly Hankins was a former student at Dublin Sciota High School from 1998 to 2002, but it wasn't until tonight that the school board heard her story. Molly claims she and her friends were victims of Lee's inappropriate behavior. More than 50 people showed up to tell the Dublin City School Board what they expect to happen in light of the arrest of former teacher Gregory Lee on child porn charges. I have great, great faith that this plan that you will be creating will be collaborative in nature, first and foremost, create a pathway for more effective reporting of questionable behavior, and include how our district revisits flagged files of employees over time. Putting a face to Lee's alleged inappropriate actions was Molly Hankins. Me and many of my friends were victims of what he was doing. After the meeting, Molly, who ran track under then coach Lee as a freshman, explained what she was talking about. Wanted me to go to his office and make sure that that the track uniform was fitting me right. She quit the team, but says Lee found other targets and would massage the legs of another girl so that she would run faster. Now she feels guilty for not coming forward sooner. It was a long time ago. I should have said something. If I did or my friend did or if one of us did, why didn't we? This would never have happened. Unfortunately, that may not be true. Lee was disciplined for rubbing a female athlete's legs with ointment and kept his job. School superintendent Dr. Todd Hoadley says the district is always thoroughly reviewing personnel files. We have 2,000 employees, so I can't say that we review every single file every single year. The state agencies that have the power and the expertise to look into teacher discipline deemed that he was eligible to have his license renewed. Ultimately, the district has pledged to review all policies and procedures and to take action where needed to prevent any further incidents. Now, Dr. Hoadley says there is a hotline for anyone to call if they have to report any kind of incidents. However, Molly Hankins says she never would have called that as a student and believes that the district needs to find some way to get these students to open up to an adult so that they can prevent these kinds of issues. Live in Dublin, Jason Aubrey, NBC4. Breaking news.